pony or donkey. And here, parading past the statue of Drake on Plymouth Hoe, even the scouts can't get there fast enough. Gone are the quiet days, tying things in knots and rubbing twigs together on forest trails. Now a scout must earn his badges on the racetrack. The deputy mayor of Plymouth visits the pits. A hundred pedal-powered racing cars are taking part, some with nine gears and average speeds of over 20 miles an hour. And they're off. Almost before you can say be prepared, they're flashing past the finishing line. Super tube followed by Tuesday night and why not again? Each scout car has to be made within a strict budget of 15 pounds. I wouldn't mind betting that quite a few fathers shared the pleasure of building them. And it's Atlas, first over the line for the sixth Home Valley Troop from Yorkshire, giving the Champion of Champions award to driver Nigel Ward and his team. Fastest driver helmet to Gary Sowby, first Doncaster Troop. Proud champions of the Soapbox Derby. <laughs>